Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough of your original name, right? Well, <laughs> I'm using dark Pokemon, so I was like, mm, okay, fine, dark fire will be, will be fun to go with. <laughs> so I got this version of Charmander, just for a little something new here. This could potentially be used as an early game stall. The Growl and Flame Tail is no discard effect. That's another nice thing about it, since I'm gonna be discarding a lot with Dark Charizard and, and whatnot. Dark Charmeleon, I kind of have to, have to have there, even though it's got that really, really, yeah, iffy fireball attack. I mean, it could hit, but with my bad luck, I wouldn't count on it. Got this version of Ulpix, because I think the Confuse Ray is more useful than the Pokemon Swap. And Dark Ninetales, because, well, I can make fun of my coin flipping. <laughs> what it should be able to do, probably... 40 to 50 damage on average. Uh, Magmar, pretty, pretty staple for fire decks. Moltres to give me all the fire I need, possibly, and Lickitung here, along with Kangaskhan for the colorless sort of uh, stalls and draw power, so to speak. Uh, trainer cards, pretty streamlined. I got two bosses, way like two Pokemon Trader, depends on the situation. Because I'm not necessarily gonna always wanna pull a dark Pokemon. Sometimes I want a basic Pokemon, so there you go. <laughs> I figured that would be a nice balance. And since Dark Pokemon typically have less HP, and I don't really need the attack power of plus power since Fire Pokemon and well, Dark Pokemon in general tend to have higher attack power, I've got Defender. And then the rest are, you know, our draw power, your energy removal. You know the deal with those things. So let's go ahead and see if we can go... Oh jeez, we got Ronald. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see if we can wipe out their decks like no one's business with our super speedy fieriness. Though, I thought my other decks are super speedy, that turned out to be slower than the poison deck. Somehow, some way, so who knows? Anyway, four prize cards. And it'd be nice to go first, because we're going against someone who uses water. So, <laughs> uh, oh, you know, if I were to possibly wipe out that Tentacool, that would be kind of nice before she gets anything else on the field, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and growl. And just call it a turn. Please get no basic! Please don't energy removal me! Oh! <laughs> well, that's not the star you that slaps anyway, so it's not gonna be doing that much damage per se, I don't think. I mean, yeah, it's got the spinning attack. But I think I'm gonna just energy removal that and call it a day to hopefully prevent that from happening. <laughs> Here, I'll plop that on there. I should probably Dark Ninetales and also Defender, that Charmander, because she's probably gonna do some damage with that Staryu, possibly, maybe. And let's see what we get, though. We got a Char Charizard. And yeah, I didn't have Pokemon Breeder in here, because I figured that uh, I only have one line of, <laughs> yeah, Stage 2s, and it's not as vital as Blastoise, so... If I don't get Dark Charizard, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but chances are I'll be able to pull one out of there, especially with the, the boss's way and stuff like that. Uh, looks like I, my, my hand is pretty good there. And I'll just go ahead and Flame Tail then, and call it a turn. I might actually be able to um, do the 70 damage off on the Staryu. Potentially, maybe, possibly. Oh, I got a Moltres to see how many fire energy we get out of this. And you know, I was thinking about the randomness factor of this Moltres. This really could be made into an actual card by rolling a four-sided die. Or just rolling a six-sided die and re-rolling if you get a five or a six until you get something. So yeah, that, it would be kind of nice to see that one in real life. Anyway, I'm gonna go plop that on there. You know, and uh, no, no bench Pokemon. So this could very well be... Victory here! Oh man! Oh man! Actually, I should probably energy removal that just to be safe, because it's got the same amount of HP. Fireball! Heads, please! Ah, of course not. <laughs> of course not! Oh, of course you didn't bench Pokemon! <laughs> I don't have the, uh... The powers of the, uh... Um... Defender in play. <laughs> I could not think of the card I use to defend myself for some reason. Um, well, what I'm gonna do here is definitely go Dark Charizard. And just to make sure, because I have bad luck, 
to knock out that Stariona. Continuous fireball with four energy cards, because chances are one of them is gonna be a heads. Okay! <laughs> Why? Why is my coin flipping so bad? <laughs> I cannot rely on any of the game's luck based elements whatsoever. Um. Just go focus on Dark Nine Tails. I'm probably gonna get one head out of this to win, yeah. Just like, what the heck? What the heck? I got a little bit worried at that. That continuous fireball there for a second, but now nah, we're good. We're good now. So yeah. Um, you also notice something with this deck, and that a lot of attackers here use much lower fire requirements than your typical fire deck. So I'm not using stuff like energy retrieval, but I do have Moltres just to speed things along in general. Anyway, Nicholas, Lightning Club time. Let's go, go, and hopefully Speedo to the victory. Oh. Uh, I'll put Moltres in second because you don't get the Pokemon power unless you drop it in during the regular gameplay time, so then I'll be able to load up on the fire energy as well as thin out that deck. And you're probably gonna get, I was gonna say, you're probably gonna get infinite head flips, but I am not with my Lickitung, but yeah, we'll see. Pop that on there, and... I don't really want to discard all, <laughs> discard all the nice fire energy I'll be getting out of this, but I don't even know how many I'll be able to get with the... Yeah. Oh, you know, I, maybe I should have included Scoop Up for this Moltres. Hmm. 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 Anyway, energy removal! <laughs> and let's see if I can get the infinite heads myself. Well, I got one head, so that's something. And on the side, I think what I'll do is try and get the dive bomb of the Moltres going, even though it's a flip, maybe it'll work, so did Delio. But chances are, with those sorts of attacks, they will eventually work, so... And with the boss's way, I could pull a dark Pokémon, but... What am I gonna pull a dark Pokémon with? It's... <laughs> like, I, I don't know what I'm able to evolve right now. <laughs> oh, man. Because, yeah, if I, if I had some sort of basic that does some sort of evolution, then I would be able to know what to pick with the boss's way, but as of right now, it's kind of a guessing game, and that doesn't evolve either. Uh, let's put that on Moltres just to make sure I have some sort of attack going there. And Paralysis is nice, but the Voltorb is knocked out. Maybe I should have energy removal that Spearow? Oh, I don't know. I mean, Lickitung has a lot of health. And I have the colorless Pokemon here because they're high HP and, you know, the stalls. Yeah, it's, it's, it'll probably be fine taking attacks and just saving the <laughs> energy removal for when I really need it, you know? Um, I got two bosses way right now, that's both in my deck! Uh, wait, isn't that Voltorb the same? Yeah. That group spark won't be an issue if I keep destroying the Voltorb. So... I'm probably... better off just continually tongue wrapping and just saving the energy removal. Just as I was going there, as I said, I don't think the Spearow is that much of a threat to Lickitung, especially since I'm gonna do some and um, para paralysis along the way and stuff like that. Are you gonna go for the mirror move to try and cause paralysis to me? Maybe, but now that you got Electrode in play, I should probably probably do one of those dealios. Look at that, I got another basic that doesn't evolve. Not that it matters, I guess, because th that I'm always happy to see a Magmar. Magmars are always good to have around on hand, now I got a couple of them having a good time on the bench when the time is right. I could actually switch over to the uh, the Magmar if I had enough energy. Lickitung requires a lot to retreat. It's kind of kind of a waste in that regard, but yeah. Mm. 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 I should probably... Oh, that... oh, that's right, you didn't attach energy. Good to know! <laughs> and the flippy flippy does not go in my favor favor. As you would expect, you can always expect me to get tails. Always play for the worst possible results in your coin flips, so that you'll always have... <laughs> still not... Still not bosses way compatible! <laughs> now watch me get a Charmander on the next turn. Just, just because. You know what I probably should do? 
probably should just plop that in play in general. Because when I Professor Oak, I'm gonna get a bunch of fire energy anyway. But yeah, it's like, I'm holding on to these bosses' ways. And it's probably gonna be completely useless for me to hold on to the boss's ways. We'll see, though. I mean, I got a decent setup there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Vulpix, then. It's like I can search for Dark Nine Tails with the boss's way. Ah! Anyway, let's finish off the Spearow. <laughs> Call it a turn, grab another prize card. Just been nicking away in this game 10 damage at a time. All things are rolling here. With, at, at the way things are going, I could have been switching with the Lick... <laughs> lick <-a> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> As predicted, there's the Charmander. <sighs> I might as well, Professor Oak. <laughs> I'm trying to get the cards out of way. I just... Might as well. <laughs> I'll evolve into Dark Charmeleon before I use Professor Oak, though, so... Oh, actually... Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I can use that to get Dark Charizard, at least. I suppose. That would be kind of nice, at energy removal this, by the way. And Tongue Wrap again. You know the dealio with that. Gonna keep going for those little nicks at a time. Because I don't feel like retreating for whopping three energy cards. To get some attackers out there, although well, I probably should, because it's just kind of... Kind of on the ridiculous side, but any boss this way, probably there's at least one... Dark Charizard in the deck somewhere, looking for that red. There we go. Voila. And... <laughs> Alright, let's do it. And let's see what we get. I don't... I can't attach any more energy this turn, as you know, because I got the... One on the Dark Charizard plopped in play, so... I don't even think I need to use Defender. He's low on energy, and if he gets an energy, it's... Not like I could have predicted that. <laughs> And no paralysis, so he's probably going to switch if he does get an energy. And... nope, no he's not. He is not. Why would you attach it to that Magnemite when you have all sorts of other things you could attach that to? Because I'm just going to end up knocking out... <sighs> anyway, <laughs> um... I guess I... No, no, it's full. I was going to say, I guess I should, in case I get the other Dark Ninetales. But anyway, I'm gonna try and go for the retreat. And just go for the flipper flipper for the energy removal knockout. And then switch into something that'll knock in knock out whatever he's got out on the next turn. Probably Dark Charizard. <laughs> just just speed things along here, probably. This is the stall of destiny here. <laughs> and just one more energy card for the Licky. Which, which I, of course, have in hand. Very wasteful. And uh, I'll just probably get one head out of this. There we go. It doesn't matter how many heads more I get after this. That would actually have been a really bad waste of energy cards. <laughs> but that's 150 for the epic victory. And there's that other Dark Charizard, of course, deep within the prize cards. And that's why you have more than one copy, anyway. <laughs> Next card battle, let's go with the pseudo-psychic, but actually Water Club member Joshua again. I don't know, you keep getting Mr. Energy removal. Uh, well, uh, um, hmm, actually maybe I will go Magmar and Charmander, because the powers of the uh, Magmar could potentially stop attacks altogether. Possibly, maybe. And I also got Dark Charmeleon to do stuff on the side, so I just kind of stall with the Magmar until we can get a whole sweeping of the fieldies. Maybe. Possibly. I mean, he's probably going to get an attack with Seal through one of these days. Not that time. But, but you know, with my coin flip luck. Anyway, cool. energy removal that, of course. There we go on this Charmander, Dark Charmeleon, and Smokescreen. As promised, with the stalling tactics, not going for the smog immediately. So I'm just gonna kinda get two aces going here, basically. The first ace being the early game Magmar, of course, and the second is energy removal. No, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be Dark Charmeleon and Smokescreen again. 
But yeah, the energy removal is always, always nice to have on hand. Uh, like, even if the opponent's got a bunch of stuff established and you get a bunch of it, <laughs> it's always nice to check what you can use it for. To, wow. <laughs> for the absolute maximum turn offsetting potential, basically. Even if it's not impactful to the opponent's field at the current moment in time, it will be in the future. And he made his putting all the eggs in one basket with that seal. Okay, he finally got one through. Uh, but I, if I get a fire, I could just outright knock out the seal. Uh -huh. Um, I could just use Defender, just to make sure Magmar isn't taking too much damage from seal. Should be fine, I think. Probably. And... I was gonna say he's gonna end this turn without attacking, but I guess he's got the potion first. And Krabby... It depends on how things going could be an issue. Uh, Charmander, if I had more energy, I might be tempted to evolve it. But as of right now, I think the Growl would end up being more useful. Anyway, small screen. <laughs> and call it a turn. Hopefully, hopefully, the coin flips will continue to work in my favor, because I got double damage weakness here. Okay, thank you. So we got some decent luck this game, although we don't have the energy cards this game, so... Smoke screen again. We'll, ev we'll eventually get some here. Crabby. <laughs> mm, yeah, that Crabby is uh, it's the kind that could probably wipe out Magmar if I remember correctly by its level. Uh, yeah, the Iron Griffs. <laughs> so yeah, it's just kind of teetering on the edge here. Uh, wait, do I want to put it on the Dark Charmeleon or go for the Lickitung and stall more? <laughs> Probably the Lickitung, in all honesty. <laughs> because the, uh... Energy cards are kind of low at the moment. I got 22 in the deck, I believe, as you've seen, so... It's kind of... Kind of weird that I'm this lacking in energy. I don't really have draw power at this moment in time. And I got 3 Professor Oak, 4 Bill. It's another kind of factor that's in play there. <laughs> okay, fire energy. Uh, I did get Dark Charizard, so I should probably start attempting the sweep. And Tongue Grab. Like, when, when I'm able to do the sweep, of course, it's probably not going to uh, take very long for him to be able to knock out my Licky Tongue. And probably sap the energy from my <laughs> Charizard there, as he does energy removal tactics himself. But we shall see. I'll save the uh, Defender in case I really, really need it. Like, if Licky Tongue is potentially about to be knocked out, so... Anyway, Krabby's are getting the powers of the Iron Grippas. This is why you have colorless energy too, by the way. Okay, I might as well put this in play now. That too. This. Professor Oak, go. Because <laughs> then I can start powering up the, the critters that I have on the side. Uh, boss's way for dark... Nine tails somewhere. There you are. Just to get that going as well. And tongue wrap. Nope. <laughs> My luck, I swear. But yeah, I got the fender on there anyway, so. I mean, I was, I was just gonna hold the fender until I really needed it, but since I got Professor Oak, I can cycle that out. Energy removal on that Krabby for sure. And. <laughs> Here comes the Dark Nine Tails. Why did I not use Bill, by the way? I don't know, I'm stupid. <laughs> Fire Charmander. Uh, eh, just Tongue Wrap, I suppose. And um, I was hoping for Paralysis there, because he's probably going to do the switcheroo. Uh, just to save himself from a... Uh, oh, oh, no, maybe not. Got a potion. To save himself from a knockout and me getting a prize card. Yeah, this is an oddly stally day, despite this being a fire deck. Uh, guess the other Dark Charmeleon and Tongue Wrap. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> surprise plus power, go! Or surprise switch, go! <laughs> no. <laughs> it doesn't sound like something that he would pull off. Nah. Nah. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Well, I could potentially get a heads, even though I'm probably not going to get heads based on my luck with coin flips. And 
let's see what we get. Oh man, we finally got one after 20 coin flips. And his turn. Now he can't switch unless he's actually got a switch card. So I'll be able to get the knockout probably. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Very nice, very nice. But he's gonna follow up by knocking out my critter in exchange. But I think Lickitung did well. Did quite well, in fact. I mean, it's got a lot of HP, so it kind of couldn't do well when I'm trying to stall with it, so... Anyway... You go ahead and Professor Oak, knock out my Licky, and then I'll follow up with Dark Charizard sweeping. How's that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. <laughs> there you go, you, you get your happy prize. I got my big lizard. And I'm gonna put that on there just to increase my chances of getting two heads out of that. Because Seal has got, yeah, 60 HP just out of the range of getting one heads. And I've got... why did I do that? And I've got the luck of the, the horribleness, so... Oh, there's already the bad luck. Oh, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. No, geez, 50-50. Oh. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Even with four coin flips. Even with four coin flips. <laughs> well, I tried to get the average of having four coin flips. But alas, alas, it's gonna take 20 damage just because I couldn't get anything in my favor. But <laughs> um, I don't know if Dark Charizard is really in that big of a threat per se. I mean, it is very threatened here per se. And chances are I will get one head out of this. Chances are? Okay. Please don't give me two heads up. Okay, so... <laughs> that, that was the ideal situation for once. So I will consider that good luck. Just so I don't get hard on myself. <laughs> but he's got another seal. So, that could very well be impossible for me to knock out with Charizard. <laughs> I will go for the knockout. Uh, let's try and go to... Mm. <laughs> Mm! Okay. <laughs> Man, it makes me wonder now if I should have had plus power. Nah, just, <laughs> this is just a situation that's not really... Oh, you did a switch. Why, would, why actually would you do a switch? Because you want to do the knock out the Dark Charizard? I, I guess, but... Still, but still, anyway. I'm gonna go... Uh, Dark Ninetales next, then. See if we can get five head flips out of that. Um... And also because of the higher HP in general, I'll put Magmar as backup. There we go, maybe I'll... Hmm. I don't know if I want to do anything more than that. Alright, let's get heads! Lots and lots of heads! Oh jeez, it's gonna be X's on top of the X's. Right, we got three out of five that we need, can we get a fifth? Yes! We win! We act Wow! Seven out of nine. <laughs> That's unusual for me. Alright, so, that is a nice ending to an otherwise iffy game. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, TR number one. Let's go ahead and wipe out our leafy friend. Well, not really leafy at this moment in time in the games, yeah, but anyway. <laughs> Six prize cards for the big battle of doom. Head flip of happiness. So we go first, and Bill, of course. We are absolutely, ooh, absolutely going to Bill. Uh, I'm gonna just place Moltres in play to thin out the deck of fire energy if I can, so I get more like stronger draws in the future. So we got two. We've got three. Can we get all four? Yes. Yes, we can. We could use a basic Pokemon, but that increased our chances of drawing a basic Pokemon, so that is still pretty useful, I'd say. <laughs> uh, maybe, just maybe, I can wipe out his Pikachu... Oh, never mind. I was going to say wipe out his Pikachu bombardment before we are able to... Uh, well, Pikachu and Magma bombardment before he's able to fill up his bench, and then we can take less prize cards, but no. But no. And he managed to actually... Oh, Wow, everything went in his favor there. <laughs> Holy mother of Arceus. Okay, we're gonna go... Because I think this... Yeah, the Pikachu's got agility, so I think I'm gonna go... Plop that on there. Use Defender. 
and then begin the, uh... Well, actually, I could energy removal. Actually, no, I'll hold on to that. Just see what he does. Alright, uh, because he might decide to put his energy elsewhere. Uh, magnet for more magnemites? Magnemite there. <laughs> Astonishing! <laughs> uh, yeah, Polywhite could be a bit of an issue because of the, uh... Uh, double damage, but also because of the paralysis. And of course, of course you're gonna get the heads. Why wouldn't you? Um, pop that on there. Maybe I should go out and go for the Moltres, even though I've got uh, um, Dark Ninetales, because Moltres doesn't have a weakness, as you know. So I could be like a extra colorless Pokemon, so to speak, for water resistance. And thus... We get paralyzed again. Um, well, I guess what I should do because of the double damage thing is do that. And... Uh, yep. <laughs> Same strategy. Yeah, so it was a good idea to hold on to the energy removal. But Jesus, Arceus. It's unbelievable. The coin flippers. Okay, I'm gonna go straight for the poison. <laughs> And we're gonna go put that on Dark Nine Tails as well. I got a lot of fire energy to go around thanks to Moltres, so. And of course, of course I don't get the poison. No, he doesn't get the poison, I should say, but. <laughs> of course. Um, it's like. It's like a, everything he's got right now is lightning focused. I think that he was focusing on the water critters because he noticed I have all the fire critters, so. Come on! Are you kidding me? It's like the only decent luck I had was that Nine Tails Seven flip. I used all my luck there. It's like, I, you know, I get coin flips in my favor when it's overkill, <laughs> but otherwise, no, it's not happening. Uh, Charmander. So that is gonna be a. Whoop! Oh, I didn't mean to. I just kind of click. Well, it's fine actually. I just kind of click through things rapidly. I want to put Charmander in play. <laughs> Get a Dark Charmeleon going here with the boss's way. And wait, what? Is that? Did I miss? No, I didn't. <laughs> Is this like, did I miss it? It's like it's kind of yeah. I can't evolve it right now, but and also I'm done here. So please heads. Thank you. Because <laughs> now I can kind of speed up knockouts potentially, but. Well, I guess with Defender and play, that's decent. <laughs> anyway, so like in general, ooh, that Voltorb. Got the 1 for 20 dealio going on. You know, that Voltorb's got the power. Uh, so we're gonna suck that power up. And <laughs> as long as we have the opportunity to. And do that. And I guess it doesn't really matter what attack I use. If I wanted to see the coin flip. And just be disappointed at getting heads when I don't need heads, I would have done the coin flip. <laughs> Alright, so... If this Magnemite was a steel type, I'd be doing double damage to that bad boy, but no! No, I did not get the steel typing just yet. <laughs> um... Yeah, Moltres. And Smog. Heads, please. Anyway, <laughs> just keep on keeping on. You're probably going to be able to do 30 with the power of your electrode there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, wait, no. Oh, oh no, you're only doing the 20. I thought you were going to, like, plus power or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, just keep on powering up before I Professor Oak and hopefully get a head flip. Because Electrode's got a lot of HP here, so. <laughs> anyway, she keeps saying anyway a lot here, but. Just, I'm just saying, anyway, because I keep getting the worst coin flips in all of history. <laughs> um, I could try Moltres. I could. You know what? Just for the sake of seeing how bad my luck is. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in play as long as he's got it. And Nine Tail Whip. Here we go. Here we go. All tails. Here we go. All tails. I'm calling it. <laughs> Holy jeez! Okay, we got one head. <laughs> We're getting all the tails out of our system now. Okay, 
The chances are I'll be able to knock out Electro next turn with that, but... <laughs> just like, all tails! <laughs> all tails, all the time, until we cycle those out. Um, maybe I'll actually go put that on Magmar this time. I get maybe another Dark Charmeleon going on the side, so I'll put Charmander out and play. And... Because you remember, we see, we see that we had another one in the deck there. Oh, I got the boss's way, so that'll allow me to pull it. Unless I draw into it. Yeah, just boss's way for... Yep, there she is. And... Yep. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna try. We just need four! We just need four out of nine. That's not even 50%. Jeez. Okay, wait, we're, we're, we're getting back. Oh, jeez. We're getting back on track. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Three out of four. <laughs> I, maybe I accidentally grabbed Dark Nine Tails as one, one of the tails, and I got a curse from it. The curse of infinite bad luck. <laughs> All right. Dark Charmeleon! Can I get any head? Any! Okay. <laughs> Could you imagine if I got all tails out of nine flips? Out of an. Okay, now. Now, now. See that. See, now that I would consider. <laughs> I guess you could say bad luck again, because it's like. I got so much excess attack power when I didn't need it, but when I did need it. Actually, I didn't even need ex excess attack power. I just needed to be average or below average <laughs> to get that knockout on the Electro, but no. No. Well, anyway, you're going to get the knockout on Dark Ninetales, and then I'll probably, hopefully, maybe, be able to sweep with Dark Charizard. Maybe. Anyway, I'm just going to get a second one going here for the future, and one head flip. Just one, not all three, ju just one, not all- Oh! My Arceus! I just lost all the energy- <laughs> For no good reason! I didn't even attach another energy! Now I can't do a continuous fireball in the next turn because I'm not able to- I mean, I don't have two energy cards to just keep spamming continuous fireball. I just basically energy removal myself completely with three energy cards, which is a 12.5% chance of actually happening. You're probably going to get heads. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> Isn't Dark Charizard a tree cost three as well? Yeah, of course it is. Um, I guess I could snail flick until I win. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not why I played Dark Charizard. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, you're gonna probably retreat just to kind of stall things out further. Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> and the bubble is probably gonna cause paralysis. Oh, no, oh, something. <laughs> and, you know, the funny thing is, I'm still winning games. Maybe not for long, but I'm still winning games. I'm gonna go Defender just to be extra safe here. I just need one head! Thank you. Not two. Just one. Thank- okay. <laughs> we just want to do 50 damage, exactly, and that's it, because that's how much Poliwag has. I got an excess Dark Charmeleon, but that yeah, should be fine. And you got the Magnemite, but that is not really that big of a deal at this moment in time. Super Conductivity for the... Zero? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why you even did that, because it's... Choose... Yeah, but I got the Defender. Why didn't you go for literally anything else? I don't know! But I'm gonna try for one head flip again. There it is! Good, good. Alright, things are turning around for the luck again. Maybe after I complain to Dark Nine Tails, it released the curse. <laughs> and Magnetism... Increases damage for the Magnemites in play. It just gets tons and tons of them, but... Um... Just one. Just... One. Anyone... Anyway, actually, it doesn't matter if I need if I hit two, because I win anyway, but... Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm just trying to call my coin flips averages here. And look, look how long that took. To... <laughs> One more, Ronald. Hopefully, he's using something with... Oh, he's got the GRX stack. I see. I see. Um... Uh oh. Alright. <laughs> Please head flip to go first. Please head flip to go first. Oh. <laughs> well, well, at least he's using grass. At least he's using grass. <laughs> well, those poison grass in general, too. But uh, Ram, not gonna do all that much to Magmar at the moment. I need basics. Oh, Professor Oak's nice. Okay. Um, but yeah, I definitely want basics because he could probably take out Magmar pretty quick with some poison. But. But the idea here is to have some sort of basic by the time Magmar gets knocked out. <laughs> I'd probably get one if I use Professor Oak, but I got a decent hand right now other than that, so I'm just gonna kinda hold on to that and hope that Magmar will be okay. And I'm gonna also put Defender on Magmar, because uh, I'm gonna possibly knock out the Zubat here. And here we go. Heads flip, please. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> well, at least I saved Magmar a couple scratch damage from the Zubat, I suppose. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No retreats allowed. <laughs> You've seen the power of Dark Muck in the Toxic deck. And it's here now. Okay, now I got something here. And... No. Not, not even gonna look for a coin flip. No. We're just going for the smoke screen. We'd leave the coin flip for when we really need it. Okay, we got Dark Charmeleon, Dark Charizard. We might actually be able to outright sweep them. So, oh, well, maybe not. Uh, so, Poison's gonna hit Magmar because it's a guaranteed thing, as you know, with Dark Muck. Pretty handy little move there, as you've seen. Basically, that's 40 unless I do a switch, which I'm not able to do because of the powers of the uh, Dark Muck there. But I'm just gonna go for Poison myself. There we go. So now we're both poison. I like those apples. And then when the time is right, namely when I inevitably get knocked out at the end of his turn, I will switch into the uh, Charizard. Oh, full heal. Of course. Of course you have a full heal. Oh, of course you're going to fill up your bench with Pokemon before I can... <laughs> before I can officially do the sweep on you've got build to boots. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, anyway, <laughs> another Dark Mark, wow. And yeah, that Sludge Punch is plenty for the Magma. <clears throat> but, you know, it kind of makes me wonder if I should put out the... Uh, like, if I shouldn't have put did a Professor Oak instead. Now I get Magma. Um, the reason why is because when he puts out the other Dark Mark, it's going to be Poison City. But... If I get energy removal with Professor Oak, preferably two energy removal, to completely sap the energy, I... nope, hmm... I could to stop the poison from happening to Dark Charizard. Well, I guess that just means I should get something else going here. Uh, I guess... probably... Uh, actually, wait a second. Yeah, I think I'll go the Magmar again. No, just one head flip. Otherwise, I'll energy remove myself into oblivion. Okay. <laughs> if I've already gotten two tails there, I swear. <laughs> and Magmar? Again? I could trade that for uh, Dark Nine Tails or something. And get that going. Mm, I don't know what you're replacing there, if, unless you know what your prize cards are. Just kind of taking blind guesses. And the poison hits like a ton of bricks. And I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on... Actually, maybe I should Nail Flick first. And then do the Continuous Fireball. Hmm... That might be... Worthy of doing it like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go for... Assuming it's in my deck, Dark Knight Death. <laughs> As promised. Plop that on there. I'll plop that on there as well. Um, I should also de probably use Defender, because the Poison is the only thing that's going to be doing damage to their Charizard then, unless he's going to switch it to something with higher attack power, but we'll see. 
I don't think he will, though, because of the uh, uh, retreat costs thing messing with Dark Charizard in general. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because uh, Dark Muck has got a two retreat cost, so he definitely could. And... I'm gonna go for that. One head flip. Just, just one. Just... Okay. <laughs> so Dark Charizard is definitely gonna be KO'd because of the poison and the uh, upcoming, incoming attack. Oh, Moltres will be a nice backup for getting energy. But yeah, the, uh... It's not really anything that I could do about that because he's using the poison tactics that I showed worked pretty decently there. <laughs> and sticky sticky. And alas, alas, it happened as predicted. So now we're gonna go into Magmar because Dark Ninetales isn't quite ready. And I should probably use Defender on that. And then Moltres for the energy. We'll see how many we get. Maybe we'll get enough for Dark Ninetales and Magmar. I got two. Oh, it's sippy. <laughs> I think I'll just go for the smoke screen instead of uh, smog then. So, because I, I don't know what's coming in the next draws. I can only do my decision based on what I have, basically. And sticky, sticky. It has missed. Thank you, thank you. Oh, of course. Of course. Well, I got another Vulpix for that, but. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going for the smoke screen right now, because it's probably the safest bet. And call it a turn. Yeah, that Sticky Heads is basically only got... I mean, st Sticky Heads. Sticky Hands really only got a 25% chance of doing maximum damage. Because first there's the coin flip for my smoke screen, and then he's got to get heads on the next one. Energy removal at Dark Radicate for sure. And smoke screen. So yeah, I don't, I don't think Grimer's that going to be a threat if he's just going to keep trying for the sticky hand, <laughs> sticky hands, so, yeah. And he just powered Radicate back up there, but it did offset his turn a little bit. And... 10 damage, okay. See what I mean about the max damage thing? So, I didn't think it was really that big of a deal, as long as I just keep using Smokescreen. Uh, I guess I could go for the other Vulpix. You know, into Dark Nine Tails and just coin flip myself into Oblivion, because it's probably never going to work. <laughs> and he's a switch into probably, yep, Dark Radicate. I was just going to say Dark Radicate, but then I seen it and I was like, yep. <laughs> That's why I started energy removing it, of course. Ooh, Dark Persian. It's got the Poison Claws. Yeah, his deck is very poison-oriented in general. Wow, he did that maximum, maximum of the maximum. Uh, Dark Ninetales... That's Professor Oak. We don't need the boss's way anymore. We've got our critters all raring to go here, I think. And I guess we, uh, I guess maybe I could have went for Dark Charmeleon. Hmm. 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 <laughs> um... If only I, I, I had the Pokemon Breeder in. If only. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of done here. I think I'm just going to smoke screen and call it a turn think about what else to do with the stuff in hand. I only have two prize cards here left to go, and I think, I think I'll get them, it's just... Yeah, yeah, oh, oh nice, nice. Um, do I want to just go for the knockout by switching to Dark Ninetales? I think I do. <laughs> just save that energy for later. And I think I'm going to use the energy removal on the Dark Persian. And here we go, just four. I, I'm, I'm only asking for four. Got two. Got three. Now the rest are tails, right? Oh. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, could I get actually all of them just for the kicks? But yeah, the average is four or five, so that's slightly above average. That, that I will take that. that that's fine. That's fine. It's just as long as I don't get three, like that, <laughs> on the electrode. Okay. So, Dark Persian's gonna be Poison Clawing all day and all night, probably. No effect that time with the Poison, but could still happen. I'm gonna go Energy Removal that. It'll go back to his hand, but I'm still gonna Energy Removal that. For the sake of sakes, and I probably shouldn't have put an extra Energy on Magmar now that I think about it, because it was already getting low on HP, but... 
some some la la la. Oh jeez. Well this won't be a knockout, will it? I use up my coin flips on the last turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got four, that's decent. That's about the average, so. <laughs> Can't really ask for more than that in all honesty. Forty or fifty is what you'd expect with that. Uh you're gonna switch, of course. You're not gonna switch? What? That's it's a zero retreat cost. You have You've seen my bad luck, and these have more HP. Oh. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll I'll take that as him giving me mercy. How about that? How about that? Anyway, two heads. Just please. Okay. <laughs> if I if I would have gotten. Mostly <laughs> That would have been uh, so dumb. Alright, there's the average. We win! Well, actually, my average is probably 30 or 20. <laughs> Woo! Alright, so our streak continues. I'm really surprised I haven't needed to do a restart of a part due to a loss yet, but I'm not complaining or anything like that. Alright! Mail call! <laughs> Probably the same, uh, same text as before. Yes, it is. There is a brand spanking new Machamp for our collection. Explosion of Rage. Scott's the damage with, the, well, I mean, the damage counters. You know, you flip the coins based off of that. So it can be semi decent, I suppose, but I think it'd be more interested in the fling away. Just to keep kind of messing with that. But yeah, they get to choose, not you. So I'm not sure it's it's gonna beat other versions of Machamp, but it's not too shabby overall. <laughs> All right, game center. Finish off this. Holy jeez, this part is. I didn't realize how long this was. But at the same time, you can't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Because you can't save in the middle of Delio, so. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know if I'm ever using this deck again. <laughs> I just need to make like a, a deck that... I just need to make a deck that's like absolutely no luck based whatsoever. Thank you. <laughs> and then we could say no to coin flips. Like we're gonna have like a bunch of full heals in there. <laughs> Stuff like that. Trade the Bill's computer for some sort of graveler, probably the the overabundance of graveler. There we go, and we'll get ourselves Promo Moltres in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we get that Promo Golem. And the, oh no no yes yes, we, we're done here. We're, we're we're completely done here. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next part.